Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's exploration of the solar system, we are going to take a look at the Mariner 10 spacecraft, which was the first craft to move into the inner inner part of the solar system and explore the planet Mercury closest to the sun. So here we see the craft and this was launched in November of 1973. And we're going to see it as the very first exploration of the planet Mercury. Now, why was that important? Well, Mercury, while it's been known since ancient times, is next to impossible to study from Earth. That's because of its position always very close to the sun. So we never see it up high in the sky at night. We could see Mars and we could see Jupiter and we could actually study them a little bit. While it's much better to get the detailed images of traveling out close, it was still able to get images and see them. Mercury is just very hazy. The only way to see it is right before sunrise or right after sunset. And then you have to look so low in the sky that you're looking through so much atmosphere that you cannot get a clear image. Now, it didn't go straight to Mercury, as we discussed previously with another craft. This used a flew by Venus first in this case and used a gravity assist to get to Mercury. So it actually flew by the planet Venus. And here is one of the images of that see showing the cloud cover. And what this did was to adjust the elliptical orbit of the of it so that its perihelion, its closest approach to the sun, would be at Mercury. So we're directing it so that it will go in close to Mercury and then come back out. And this actually did several flybys of Mercury in March of 1974. September of 1974 and March of 1975. And here we can see one of those images and we were able to map about half the surface in this case about 45% of the surface. Now it was a major increase. This was the first observations ever of the surface of Mercury, not just that up close, but we couldn't even begin to see these from Earth. So we were able to study the surface features and see a few different things. In fact, we so one feature that we were able to find on Mercury that was not present on the other planets was this, which is called a scarp. So it's what they call a lobate scarp for its curved shape. And these were formed when the planet shrunk. Now, why would the planet shrink? Well, all of the planets would have been molten at one point in the past. And as they cooled, they would solidify. With the crust being exposed to space, it solidified first. So while the interior was still molten. And as the interior started to solidify, it would coll collapse down and the outer surface would then have to crunch down on top of it, wrinkling parts of the surface. And you can actually see how the scarp goes through several different craters here, meaning that the craters were there before the scarp formed. So those are older craters formed early on when Mercury was first still solidifying. It also noted that it did have a very tenuous helium atmosphere. Mercury is not able to hold helium because it's such a light and fast moving element. But it was it is as long as it is being replenished with the say particles from the sun, it could hold on to some net very, very thin atmosphere. It was also determined to have a magnetic field, which is really the only other planet in the inner solar system other than Earth that has a magnetic field. The mission ended shortly after that third flyby on March 24th of 1975. And it ended simply because it was out of maneuvering fuel. It had no way to keep itself then oriented, pointing its antenna toward Earth. So that had to end the mission. 
So let's go ahead and summarize a little bit here about Mariner 10. And what we looked at is the Mariner 10 craft flew by Mercury and the very first craft to explore the innermost planet. It mapped only about 45% of the surface because the same portion was illuminated every time it flew by. So it wouldn't be for decades later before we got the rest of the surface mapped. But it was really the very first observations of the surface of Mercury, something that cannot be seen from Earth. So that concludes this discussion of the Mariner 10 spacecraft. We'll be back again next week for another exploration of the solar system. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.